Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name's Senra. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be coming back with another smell review. The show where I watch anime and I review it. And real quick, we're going to do a little bit of a time cut. You see, you see this uh, wooden chair? Into the Void of Goats? Wooden chair? Hey, 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 I got me a brand new chair, dude. All right, I wanted to, I wanted to do that little skip cause I, uh, I just wanted to wait. I got a new chair and I'm really happy, dude. I can lean back in it now. I can finally lean back in a chair and relax. All righty, we are back with JoJo's Bizarre Adventures and specifically with part two called Battle Tendencies. Now, where I left off last video with part one was I was explaining the, the whole saga with Jonathan Joestar and Dio Brando. And now this second part, uh, it's kind of a way to like wrap up the Stone Mass saga. All right, so before um, I start this video, I just wanna say spoiler warning. Uh, if, if you haven't seen part two of JoJo yet, and this is your first time seeing this smile review, uh, spoiler warning. Just I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold back. I'm gonna go in. All right, so let's go ahead. And let's continue where we left off in the story. And holy crap, this show gets so more confusing. I swear to God, and multiple factors on top of it. So I wanna I wanna touch on a lot of things. So, but what I had to do was I just made bullet points and I'm just gonna freestyle off the dome and see how that goes. So, um, let's go ahead and let's start with the conclusion of, um, Streitz versus Joseph. Now, um, so they get into a little bit of a con con uh, confrontation. Jojo, uh, throws a grenade at Streitz, but he's just like, bruh, what was that? You just throw, deflects it. Um, but plot twist, Joseph actually freaking attached multiple grenades to Strite's back. So he freaking just disintegrates from existence. But since he's a vampire, he can regenerate. So it then turns up to, um, a little bit later, news report gets a hold of the story. And she, um, this lady, she's actually like, I'm um, trying to report the story. And Strite's takes her hostage follows Joseph uh, Joseph because right now uh, after the explosion Joseph and Smokey they dipped like they just did the secret Joe star technique just yeet. but basically Strites, uh gets up to where Joseph is at the at um, a bridge and that's when uh, we truly see um, Joseph as a man and we get to just see um, how brutal Strites is like he doesn't he said like he was been saying he's showing no mercy um, so, Strites, I think, uh, threatened to, like, harm the, wo the woman, even though she's done nothing. She's an innocent, by she's innocent, by the way, like, bystander. Um, and Joseph tries calling him out on his bluff, but he actually, like, does something. I think she rips the, the lady's tooth out. And that's when, uh, Joseph gets really angry and just, um, unloads on them, unloads on uh, Strites and overpowers him. And there, that's the conclusion. Strites ends up dying on the bridge, but but we learn a little bit of um, exposition before then. Uh, sorry, I keep looking at my display instead of the camera, but we learn that in Mexico, that's where they dumped Speedwagon's body. And there is a lady in Rome that will help you on this journey that you're on. Um, Strites basically says that Joseph is locked into this destiny that he just can't escape because the the Joestar blood just runs in in him, uh, just like his just like his great uh, grandfather. So um, that's just how it. That's just the the goal. That's just the destiny he has. I'm trying to say, jeez. So, Joseph ends up uh, going to Mexico. Um, we have he has a brief he has a brief confrontation. He was followed. Uh, I, I it didn't really add much I, if I remember, but um, he ends up finding um, this town, 
And um, to Joseph, when he heard that Speedwagon's body was never found, it didn't just didn't sit with him right. So he thought, you know, maybe there was a chance, if you know what I mean. And good news, Speedwagon is alive. We'll get to that. But basically, <laughs> oh, I remember now. So he found he finds his German um, outpost, <laughs> and he sees two guards at the front. And uh, they're clearly they, they they're clearly uh they like the they like they, they like the girls and they're a little bit um they're pigs actually I don't want to talk about it and they they they're, they're just disgusting actually if you're gonna get real honest with that but Joseph tries putting on a disguise <laughs> oh dude puts on like a skirt and makeup and tries like um wooing them like as a distraction um but easily sees right through it so he just overpowers them takes uh their their um their suit and infiltrates the base undercover uh <laughs> oh i love joe i love jojo now i think if anything this um part two really solidified uh me actually like continuing to watch this series so anyway uh, we then uh, um, look into the chamber, right? This German test chamber where we see the pillar man that was teased at the end of uh, part one. So with that, we um, are then introduced to a character by the name of Stroheim. I love Stroheim. Dude's an amazing person. I understand he's German, but still... That does, I don't care, okay? Just, he is a true lad. Um, I'll talk about him later on as things go on. But anyway, um, he's sacrificing uh, people to um, blood samples because that's the reason that um, Strites, um dumped their bodies because he saw that the stone, pillar, uh, the stone pillar men were sucking up blood. And he just didn't, it didn't settle well with him. So he, uh, um, instead of Straheim, he actually knows about this and he's exploiting it. So he's feeding these pillars, um, blood so it can awaken. And eventually, the person inside actually awakens. And, um, out comes, I think, he's not naked, but he has like a toy, a toy cloth, I think, a torn cloth on him. And, um, Stroheim, he, um, he tries to think of a name, I think it's like, uh, I know the name, I'm trying to think of the reason why, he said like it's, um, the harsh cold winds in Mexico, Santana, and, ooh, I love that name, um, Santana, okay, that, I, I don't know, man, that's a good name, um, basically, they try, they try experimenting on Santana, but, uh, he ends up finding his way into the control room, overpowers everyone, and then finally Joseph reveals himself to, um, surprise Speedwagon, who I already said was alive, so I'm thankful Speedwagon's alive, um, reveals to everyone, basically, uh, he's there, he infiltrated, um, and he doesn't really have a qualm with, um, Santana at first, but since we know Joseph is quick to anger and he's got a temper, he easily starts uh, a conflict with Santana. And we instantly learn, right off the bat, um, Sa Santana is really powerful. And we had we were shown a chart earlier, uh, two of like three other people, and then there was Santana at the bottom. So. There's like three people that are stronger than Santana, and it's already giving these characters an issue right now. So that's the scary part that um, I think that that really that really impacts you on. So um, a fight ensues uh, with Jojo and Santana. Of course, um, Joseph he's cunning, dude. I really love um, his in intellect. Uh, it's really it's really it's cool to see. Um, just how he outsmarts some of his enemies and things of that, and even like reads their mind in a way. Uh, anyway, there's they're climbing up to the stairs because um, they figure out their weakness is sunlight, just like the vampires in part one. 
Um, th these stone men are basically um, very advanced vampires. Um, that's the best way you would have to describe them. Uh, on the way there, um, Stroheim loses a leg because um, Santana was trying to not stop him from opening the door. Door gets opened up and Santana tries to fight back and basically Jojo just whoops his butt. I'm trying to summarize it because I'm going to be real honest with you. I do want to talk about uh, some things that happen in this, in this video, but man, like... <laughs> Part one was 10 episodes. This went from like 11 to 26. So like I have a lot to talk about right now. And I still need to get like my thoughts on it. So I thought it was a pretty good fight. Um, it really showed um, the clear difference in power level there actually. Between the main character and the opponents we're going to be going up against in part two. Um... So then that segues into going to Rome. Um, so Speedwagon takes Joseph to Rome and we meet up with uh, another Hammond user by the name of Caesar. Now our introduction to Caesar um, is that he's a ladies man. Like he, he loves the women. And it was like a really stark contrast between him and Jojo. So... Um, it just set up that rivalry aspect, but the, uh, in the end, they actually did become very good friends, but I think they still saw each other as rivals. They wanted to one-up each other. So, um, through Caesar, uh, we, we, uh, um, he has this information man, a nice uh, German soldier at the time. Um, he relays that um, his friends, or like his um, comrades, were outposts where the other stone pillar men were. And so they all hop in a car and head that way. Um, and then when we we learn at the where the pillar men are, um, they all awaken, and they just murk everyone that was guarding the the, the them at the at the first part. Like, just wipe the house. And uh, once Caesar and the gang get there, freaking um, his friend. Just doesn't even, just gets ignored. Like, they just walk by him, and, like, he gets sliced in half, kind of. And he's just killed, and they didn't even, like, acknowledge it. They just ignored it. So, oh, it was, it, it, it really shows the, uh, the, how these villains are, and I really like that. Um, so, uh, Caesar gets mad of course and he starts fighting against um a few of the people uh, a few of the stone pillar man and then um eventually um caesar runs out of hammond um and it ch and one of the vampire users name is wham um we learn that uh he he knows what hammond is and he tries to counteract the technique and that's what throws caesar out of balance and he um starts to lose Hammond because he um, di he doesn't he didn't know about it uh, I'm trying again these are off the dome so then Jojo steps into the fray um, and pulls out a new technique with some American clacker balls um, which I I haven't really played with those in forever but they're pretty fun if you get them going real quick um, and he tries using it against Wham um, and it's still really really obvious that between Wham and Joseph, the power level is too great. Like, somehow Joseph um, survives his battle. Um, he teach <laughs> well, when he when he's um, when he's down when they th Wham thinks he's down and out. Joseph cowers away, um, pretending he's down, uh, moving closer and closer to a minecart, which eventually uh, lures Wham away. And that's when we get the stakes um, for this arc. So um, Joseph starts bluffing and um, shooting a gamble uh, against Wham. Be like, hey, I'm the first person to actually scar your face in a while. Uh, how about you let me get stronger in a month and we'll have a proper fight. And since knowing and since Wham at this moment had like an honor code of being like a warrior, um, 
he ends up he ends up accepting that offer but with a limitation so um him and another stone pillar man by the name of ac daisy um have these rings it's like a i guess it's like a way of like um holding a promise it's their their way of doing it is like um forever it's like the wedding vows if, if i'm trying to remember it right so wham places one on jojo's neck uh no 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 on his um artery like right by his heart and then freaking um acdc also puts one like i think on his uh neck uh to his like windpipe and they're just placing bets that in like a month um they're not gonna be strong enough to defeat them they're gonna um utterly fail so because they're gonna die now in 30 days <laughs> jojo is um he has to start training and that's finally when uh caesar introduces us to his master um who we learn is lisa lisa <laughs> hear me out hear me out okay Lisa Lisa kind of bad though. Okay. She kind of bad though. For someone in her 50s, like. I don't know, man. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the typical um, trope, you know, training art, basically. So, um, Lisa Lisa puts them through rigorous tasks over and over again to just basically um teach them how to use hammond more efficiently and properly and at first we see her as like a very cold person but over time she um shows a lot more of her emotions and we'll talk on that at the end uh i'm not even ready for that so um we learned that um lisa has this stone it's a red stone um and it's basically what these pillar men are after. Okay, so if the pillar man were to put on the mask with this stone and have direct sunlight or artificial sunlight hit it, it'll basically turn them into like some ultimate life form. Um, it's basically the it's basically the premise of what they want to get and why the good guys need to win. Um, and we we just learn a little bit about. Um, why lisa lisa has it um i think it was like a, a family heir it was passed down and she's protecting it because she knows about the powers of the stone mask and uh what this red stone can do and how dangerous it is so um they're coming over they're at the end of their training they're um it's kind of coming all to a conclusion um Caesar and Joseph are having their final battles. Caesar's has his final battle and passes um, without any flaws. Joseph, on the other hand, his trainer, we learn, is killed by ACDC. He's impatient of waiting and wants to get his hands on this stone. So he ends up fighting with Jojo and is completely surprised and overwhelmed by Joseph's freaking power that he grew that that he earned in such a short amount of time the potential he has and um eventually um acdc um gets reduced down to nothing but we learn he attaches himself to the back of joseph via like brain and the nerves so he's still alive and through that um we have this little he has a little encounter with um with a servant Susie Q and um, ACDC takes control of Susie Q um, and then while Susie is under the control grabs the redstone ships it off to Switzerland and that's when Lisa Lisa learns that something's wrong with Susie um, Joseph barges in um, by the way dude was um, I'm gonna spoil this right now dude was peeping on his mother and was like nice i mean i don't judge him i mean hell i would have too <laughs> so with suzy q she starts um attacking lisa lisa and then joseph barges in stops it 
Um, Caesar shows up and first is like, why are you peeping on my master? And then realizes the situation that Susie Q um, is possessed right now. So he harmarks back to the training they had. Joseph um, uses positive Haman and Caesar uses negative since they're both um, equaint with it. That's the word I'm trying to, I guess I'm the word I'm trying to think of. Um, and they force ACDC out and it hops on Joseph, but Joseph already knows the sun's coming up. So just ACDC shrivels up and um, so Susie Q recovering. Um, yeah, it was a uh, it was really um, an interesting it was an interesting little way, I guess, of moving the plot forward, um, learning that the red box gets shipped off to Switzerland. Um, and so that's, uh, leads the whole gang to then go to Switzerland. Um, and then once they go to Switzerland, they, um, encounter German, uh, forces. Um, so on the way there, when they're trying to package, they see Germans, um, have actually like taken a hold of the stone, uh, before them. And uh, it even applies that one of the Germans even knows knows Jojo. Um, so, um, I guess for them, they were fine having the Germans have possession of it, unless it wasn't the Stoneman. Um, I'm going to have to refer back to Totally Not Mark again. Uh, I agree with him on that. Uh, I think that's just, I don't know, a little, a little stupid. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to complain about it. So then, um, Cars, uh, ends up doing a sneak attack on the base, um, and that's when we learn that Straheim is alive. I forgot to mention it, but Straheim, um, sacrificed himself back in Mexico to stop Santana, um, and we learn that dude's basically a cyborg now, um, Frankie over here, uh, robot body an eye to his arms like it's he has a machine gun in his freaking chest dude what more can you have anyway um the stone ends up getting mixed up and everything joseph and cars have a brief um skirmish for the uh stone because he didn't want it to fall into his hands um and overall joseph uh it ends up saving the stone and making sure it's okay and through that fight, um, they then learn the hideout for the, the Pillarmen, uh, Wham and Cars, since ADDC is, is dead now. Um, and actually, um, Caesar and Joseph have really different uh, responses that are out of character for both of them. Um, before, Caesar was more of like the calm, cool, and collected guy that would think first, and Joseph was the one to just run on emotions, but actually, um, they get into an argument about what to do uh, when they find out their hideout. Caesar wants to rush into the base, and he wants Joseph to back him up, but Joseph's like, um, you need to calm down and realize that like we're going in the enemy territory here. They, they want us to be in their environment. Um, so it's really dangerous to just pursue in there. So an argument ensues between them. Caesar storms off into the castle alone. And that's when we he ends up fighting against Wham. Now, this fight against Wham was super close. Um, it was very tough uh, for both parties. Wham uh, was on the brink of death. And Caesar... Uh, was being pushed to his absolute limits. Both of them were. Um, and it was a very brutal fight. And uh, Wham even mentions if Cars was the one to fight against Caesar, he would have lost. Um, so... Man, I don't want to even talk about what happens after this fight. Now... Caesar's death. Caesar! I don't even know where to begin, dude. The music, the the chivalry, the manliness, the um, honor that Wham displays. 
Not because he's sentiment, just because he respects him as a fighter. Just having Caesar take his cloth, put Wham, put Wham's antidote ring in it, and using the last of his rip, uh, his, his Hammond to make a blood bubble for Joseph, and then gets crushed by cement falling on him in the shape of a cross. Oh. Dude, it just... This show hasn't got me the cry yet, but I think this is the closest I've gotten. Caesar's death and Joseph and Lisa Lisa's reaction to it really just... It hurt. It breaks me, actually. Um, just hearing Joseph scream Caesar, just, oh, I love them. I, I, I love, I love the memes, but knowing the context now, it just, oh, it hurts. It really does. Alrighty, we are in the home stretch. <laughs> so with the death of Caesar, um, Joseph, um, wishes to weep, but he must pursue on it and avenge Caesar. So this is where we get to the final battle of the anime. We have Jojo versus Wham and Lisa Lisa versus Cars. Now, um, Jojo versus Wham was amazing. Um, just the um, amount of intelligence by both parties of battle knowledge and just... Um, outwitting each other it was really um awesome to see that on display um wham uh wham like bursting out like his ultimate move where um he sucks in like all, as much air as he can and then shoots it out like a paper thin like a cannon and it's sh so sharp and like fast it can cut but it takes a toll on his body Joseph, knowing this, since right now he's pinned, he, he's pinned to a wall. He can't use Hammond. He makes like a gas bomb, throws it, lights it on fire and throws it. But he deflects, but Wham deflects it. But Joseph already knew that. Since he's sucking up in all the air, he'll suck up the gasoline and the fire. And it'll mix in his body and kaboom. I swear, dude. Joseph, his intellect is so amazing. Uh, I think he's genuinely one of my favorite Joe stars as of now. And unless I roll um, part three at the end of this, um, I, I, I've heard Jotaro is really good. Um, but unless that, um, Joseph right now, he's like my favorite Joe star. I, see, ep, like part two is literally my favorite right now. Uh, so I really enjoyed that. Um, so at the end of that fight, um, as promised, um, Lisa Lisa and versus Cars, um, dude, Cars is a dick. I'm gonna just say that right now. Dude used a doppelganger of himself and Lisa over, overpowered it so easy. Then Cars just easily stabbed her, uh, when he wasn't even, when she wasn't even paying attention and she didn't even realize it. And it just wounded Lisa Lisa and it enraged Joseph so much. Um, but Joseph was out of gas at this rate. Um, even with all his training, like he had a certain amount of Haman he could use. So he was just burnt out um, from his fight with Wham. So he didn't really have much to go on um, against cards. Um, and then that's when, I guess, Strawheim and the rest of the gang, Smokey and um, Speedwagon, uh, end up finding them. And they use um, these UV lights that Speedwagon built to defeat them. And Cars gets affected by this the first time, but he actually steals the red stone in the mask and does what I mentioned before. When the light is fired on him... And that's when he just gets so overpowered. He saw a squirrel, took his hand, recreated a squirrel that he can control on the whim. And it was, oh, it was amazing, dude. 
freaking cars just becomes the perfect life form and can, can ma manipulate his body into whatever form he wants and can do whatever that is 10 times better so the final battle is jojo versus cars um but since joseph is all ran out of juice um he he dips <laughs> i'm not even joking he, he uses the secret technique with Smokey and just dips. But he has a plan. He has a trick up his sleeve, okay? He takes an airplane and lures cars out far away to a volcano. And he mentions, if cars is from this earth, if he's birthed from this earth, then the earth is what's going to take him away. He ends up bashing the, the airplane into cars diving into the volcano and he is ready to just sacrifice himself to save everyone uh even the world itself uh against cars when strawheim comes out of nowhere saves his booty cheeks and freaking they crash land on the edge of the volcano and then we have cars just Obliterate like a uh, melting inside the magma with the with the plane and um, This caused like a huge outburst and freaking was um, It affected a lot actually um, But then we learn while Strawheim and Joseph are wanting to celebrate um, Cars are still alive Dude just used just turned his body in the clay and then just broke up the rock and sliced Joseph's arm off yeah, freaking did all that. Um, oh shoot, I don't remember how they did it, but I believe it was with Hammond. I don't remember how, but they shot up the um, a chunk of the volcano into the sky from like the eruption of it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the volcano itself was erupting, and since. Uh, cars broke off like a chunk that one shot up when the volcano finally like bursted um it sent strawheim elsewhere um but joseph and cars were on this platform and joseph just gave him one last wham pow and sent cars into outer space and freaking cars just tries um, projecting himself back, uh, like, um, with Wham's ability, but he's in space, dude. He, he ends up, he ends up just freezing the death. Uh, well, he's not dead, but he's, like, in stasis there. Like, he's just frozen, he can't do nothing. Um, he just becomes a, a rock in space, an ice rock in space. Um, and so, um, with that conclusion, it is assumed that Joseph Joestar died on that day with the... A piece of earth crashing into the ocean of course back into earth um, that would have been really hectic so um, we cut to the the funeral scene everyone's there smoky speedwagon uh, grandma Elena um, Lisa Lisa um, everyone's there sad that uh, Joseph passed away and then Joseph just shows up he just shows up to his own funeral and is like, hey, what's up with everyone? Why are you all sad? Like, I've been gone for a little bit. Like, I didn't know you guys missed me that much. And then finds out they were hosting a funeral for him. Like, he, but he's not even dead. And off screen, Susie Q saves Joseph and is healing him in the process. And they get married in Europe. And everyone's surprised when they get back. Uh, it's heartwarming, but it's funny at the same time. Um, and then, at the end of episode 26, it does have that conclusion, but we get to see a glimpse into part 3. Uh, it cuts to um, later in the future. Joseph's a lot more older now. Uh, he's had a daughter. Um, and he's off to go to his daughter's wedding. Um, so I'm only assuming that's gonna lead into part three and we're gonna learn a little bit about that. All right 
that's all of part two. I'm glad I was able to just try and do that as much as I can. Oh my god. I'm gonna be real honest with you. I think Battle Tendency took what Phantom Blood had and just improved on it. Like, I thought the pacing in this part two was phenomenal. Like, it was action packed every episode and you could follow along with it. And it didn't feel like you were getting lost or convoluted. And you know the objectives. Um, that were in place and I, I really like that um, I've heard you know that part three is coming out uh, when part three when I watch part three it's already out but when I watch it um, Hammond's just gonna be gone and we're gonna be introduced to Stans and I don't mind that I mean I've been interested in Stans for a while I've been one that's why I wanted to watch Jojo a little bit is I wanted to uh, learn about that um, power system it seemed really interesting um, but going into this blind and learning about Hammond, like, I really enjoyed it. And I really wish, um, it would come back, I guess, sometime in the future. So, anyway, it's safe to say I'm, I'm hooked on JoJo. Uh, I have it on my anime tier list now. Um, I'm really glad, I'm really glad I gave it a shot. I'm really glad I watched it. Um, I don't, I don't think this is something I regret. I would highly recommend it if you guys haven't watched JoJo for the first time. Um, so, real quick, I want to say something before, um, I roll my next anime and we cut to that. Um, I've been thinking, let me know in the comments, uh, I've been wanting to include, like, some of my, um, already completed anime I've watched, um, and I want to, let's, like, I want to rewatch it, like, Smile Re-Review, uh, something like that. I don't know if you guys would be interested if I rewatched some of my, um, favorite, ep my favorite, um, shows and, um. I guess gave a better insight into it since I've already seen it and I'm looking at it again. Um, so let me know down below uh, if that's something you guys are interested. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's pick a new anime. All right, we are uh, back at this area. It's been a it's been a few weeks. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's get this set. I don't know why it keeps lower casing everything. Um, all types plan the watch of my anime list. Let's go ahead and let's spin Whenever you're ready oh Okay read zero season two um so a little, a little interesting here. I've actually, um, I was actually wanting to uh, watch season two, um, but I was waiting for all of like um, Re Zero to get done. Um, I loved season one. Re Zero, I think that's like my third top anime right there. Um, shoot, hold up. Yeah, it's number. It's on my number four spot. I've been wanting to watch the uh, season one again, um, but yeah, no, definitely, I'm I'm down for this. I'll uh, we'll get started on Re Zero season two. I'm excited for that. Um, let's go ahead and let's hand it back off to past me. Alrighty, well, I love you guys. Thank you for thank you for the video. Um, be sure to like or dislike um, either or really helps me out. It um, helps me improve as a content creator um, I'm recording this way earlier now. It is 6 53 p.m. Okay, I'm not recording this at like midnight So I could be a little bit more energetic a little bit more louder. I hope you guys um, like like that a little bit more than what I've done before um, Just like in my music. I'm uh, the more I'm doing this the more I'm growing and getting more experience with it um, but yeah, anyway, be sure to like or dislike. Let me, uh, leave, leave a rating in the comments. Let me know what you guys thought of the episode. And, uh, till next time, stay sexy.